We say uh, my longevity is the rest of my life. Um, we get more different from each other as we age, so the conventional terms like retirement really aren't much use to us because they don't tell us where we're going. <laughs> they tell us what's happening to us. So uh, we encourage people to think about the rest of their life and that helps them frame their decisions financially and otherwise. Well, most planners refer to what we call the life tables, which are tables made by the government actuary to show how long various age groups in the population might live. The problem with them is that they don't explain how different we are as we get older. And so the life tables could be right for people um, age 65 and some might die tomorrow and some might die at 105. So they don't really help us and, and an average tends to be mm, not useful for not much more than 20% of any age group. So we need a better way of dealing with these numbers. Yes, they are. I mean, uh, 30 years ago, that's all we had. We had to pick a number, and the best number available was the one the government determined, the government actually determined, for how long the average population lives. But we, we know that the, the, planner, the clients of financial planners are not average. They're high socioeconomic, so they have more money. They um, tend to live longer. So unless you factor that in from the beginning, you're going to end up with a, a number which isn't reasonably based. But we go deeper than that. We try and we've used a lot of questions to un help people understand how long they might live. We try and address the things that might affect them personally. So they come out with a better sense not only of how long it might be, but what they might choose to do about it. So they can decide whether or not to do anything. We don't tell them they must, they can make the choice. So that's what it's really all about. It's bringing people into the sense of where am I and who am I, so they can help the planner make more informed decisions to reflect the way they think their life will unfold. Well, a typical time-related decision would be uh, when, when I might stop working. And um, unless you have an idea of how much time you've got left, <laughs> you're likely to make a poorly informed decision about that. So that's a classic time-related decision. And of course, we're, we're using time-related decisions every day, all the time, when we go on our holidays. Everything we do is based on this notion of there's a time frame for something. So a time-related decision is something that's easy to discuss with people, whereas a money-related decision, like how long might my money last, uh, is a difficult one for people. If you say instead, well, Anna, how long are we planning for? To start the conversation, you're medic immediately getting into ground where everyone knows what time is and you can talk about it usefully without sort of fear of, don't know anything about money. <laughs> well, it's a good question. <laughs> everyone talks about retirement, but um, retirement is actually a, an artificial thing. It's, it's, it was defined as when we stopped work, when it first came in, you know, 120 years or so years ago. Well, of course, we're getting a lot older. And what we've realised recently is that the amount of time we have left is mostly good time for most people. Not for everyone, but mostly good. So we should be planning on the good bits, the time where we're able, the time where we're less able but still independent, and recognising that the dependent phase of our life is actually quite small for, very, for most people, certainly the majority. So we're trying to help people understand that, that there's more opportunity. And, and whereas retirement kind of um, condemns you to the sense that you're, you've gone out of circuit, you're not that much use anymore. And nothing could be further from the truth. You know, it's, it goes around the notion of entitlement to the age pension and things like that, 65. But it's absolutely not relevant to most people that turn 65. Not all, some people simply can't work longer. That's understood. But a lot of people can. They can even re-equip themselves and re-engage with something else in their lives that they've always wanted to do. And that might be remunerative too. So it's got some real financial implications. So retirement to me is a totally out of date concept. And by the way, your actual age is not much use either. <laughs> We're all different. And our age doesn't define that. The older we get, the more different we get from each other. So we've got to start back with 
longevity being the rest of our life.